Ahoy and welcome to Secret River Tours Show and Tell. So today I thought I'd give people an idea of the sort of uh, gemstones that we find when we go on tours. So people often ask me, um, what sort of gemstones do you find Mark? So I thought I'd show you. So these are spinels, these are ge actual gemstones. So people cut them and make beautiful jewellery out of them. Um, they are jet black, like just beautiful black colour. I really, really like them. Um, and when they cut them, they're very glassy. So you can see how glassy that stone is. Uh, I must have hit it with the pick and, and broke it. But um, very, very glassy. And uh, yeah, when they cut them, they cut them just like a sapphire and they look like a black diamond. But um, people who do silver work like using them because they go really well with silver but they're the they're they're sort of like an indicator stone for finding uh, the other gemstones because there's quite a lot of these and they're the same sort of density so if you start finding these stones you tend to start finding other stones so here's uh, some sapphires so this is what everyone wants to find um, the big sparkly sapphires so uh, these are really really hard to find the good quality ones um, you probably have to find about 80 to 100 dud sapphires before you find good ones um, this is a big sapphire it's about uh, oh, it's about 20 carats I think it is um, and the big ones are really really hard to find um, and good quality ones are even harder to find because they tend to crack or they tend to there's always, always seems to be something wrong with them when you find a bigger sapphire so this has got a little bit of purple in it and it's um quite a light color but it's not the best color in the world and it's got quite a few cracks through it so you know you could sort of you could probably get a couple of stones out of it but they wouldn't be very big so for me, I'd rather just leave it the way it is because it's a beautiful specimen. They're hard to find, that big. Um, and I had to do a lot of work to find that stone. So, but yeah, I'll just keep it like that, just as a collector's stone. So, and uh, this is what you usually find when you're finding sapphires and these are just duds. So they're corundum, which is just another word for sapphires that aren't gemmy and uh, they as you can see there's no clarity in them um, and you've got to find as I say you know find about 80 to 100 of them before you find the clear ones so and these ones are hard to find and these ones are harder to find and a big one is super hard to find but if you're not digging for them you're not going to find them and that's that's a um, that's a 24 carat sapphire there um, so there's, you know, don't let people tell you that there's no big sapphires in Tasmania. You can find bigger stones, um, but yeah, they're hard to find. They're anywhere in the world. They're hard. To, big sapphires are hard to find. Uh, and then you've got these zircons. So these uh, beautiful little stones. These are pretty easy to find. Some places there's heaps of them. Other places you find, you know, they're hard to find, but most of the time you find a lot of um, zircons and they're usually quite small like this less than a, a carrot but every now and again you can find a nice big one like that one which is about four to five carats i think that's a beautiful clear stone but yeah i like those and apparently they cut really well um they've got something called a high luster which is um how sparkly they are when they're cut apparently I don't really know much about that side of things, but that's what Google says. Now, you can also find uh, smoky quartz. So, find some clear quartz, smoky quartz. Sometimes you find really nice crystals. Um, but yeah, you usually find a bit of that laying around. Uh, and this is tourmaline. It's uh, another type of gemstone. In other countries, they find beautiful um, greeny, reddy coloured, clear tourmaline stones, but um, I think in Tasmania they tend to be just black. And this little stone here, you probably won't be able to see it, but um, oh, jumped away on me. 
A lot of times you'll find quartz with tourmaline crystals in them. There's little black crystals in them. And sometimes you find um, topaz with little, like it looks like pepper in it. And it's little tiny crystals, tourmaline crystals in the, in the topaz. Um, other things that you can find too, are like this yellow rock. Now I call this um, jasper, but I think it's it could be like this looks like it's a bit of agate could be a bit of agate there but you find a lot of this yellow stone and you can get some really nice pieces too and I used to call it cheese rock for years because I didn't know what it was and uh, so and, and it has sort of like the the look and consistency of cheese well that it feels like cheese or it feels like soap or or wax when you pick it up and you can get some really nice pieces beautiful smooth pieces um, sometimes it's in sort of blocks like that so you can see it looks a bit like cheese so that's why I call it cheese rock but yeah there's heaps of that stuff too and apparently you can get that cut up and made in it makes really nice jewelry too um, yeah it's not really worth much but it is a gemstone and then sometimes you just find stuff like this and um, I don't know what that is. I sort of call it jasper, but it looks like melted glass. It's, uh, but it's not. It's it's a rock. Yeah. Um, now this is the topaz, but I'm not going to show you the topaz with this camera because it just doesn't pick them up properly. So what I'll do is I'll make a separate video with my phone and I'll upload it onto Facebook to show you because it actually takes a decent video that's actually a tin crystal so when you pick it up it's a lot heavier than the um, than the sapphires but that's a big piece of tin now, now I'm not going to muck around with it today but you can because the camera won't pick it up properly but when you shine a LED torch through it it looks like a um, ember out of a fire and that's what they used to call the ruby tin so the tin crystals have actually got an orangey reddy sort of a a, a crystal inside them but yeah that's a piece of tin so there you go they're the um, types of things you can find sapphire uh, uh, spinels sapphires zircons Smoky Quartz, Tourmaline, Jasper, uh, Topaz, and Tin. Alright, hopefully I didn't confuse you too much. And um, thanks for watching. See you later.